Right, we're going to do another video with this egg replacement stuff. When I did my cake videos, I didn't actually show you what the egg replacement looks like mixed with water. So here it is, and it's kind of like a whipped egg white consistency that's not a meringue consistency yet. So we're going to be using that again in our video today. So first, I'm going to get this big, big bowl. By the way, we're going to be making cookies, if I forgot to tell you. Right, that's perfect. So, I'm now going to put in my flour. Uh, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm going to plonk that in. My sugar in. So this is caster sugar, so you need one cup of that. I like lots of sugar. But I'm going to combine that. So now you've got your spoon, you need to gently combine all of the ingredients so the baking powder is through all the way and there's lots of sugar in each and every single bite. Now we're going to add our butter, now this should be softened butter, in other words room temperature. Add it the butter bit by bit because you don't want to dry out the butter using all the dry ingredients so and remember this is quite hard to stir so if you need extra help then just ask a grown up and if you are a grown up there's nothing I can do to help you just going to add our last bit right so now I'm going to add our egg replacer Oh, and if I hadn't told you what we're making, these cookies are called butter cookies. Not just random cookies, they're butter cookies. So this egg replacer will make it real sticky now, and more like a dough. As long as the um, egg replacer does its job, I can have the vanilla extract, and that's all our ingredients done. But what you don't want to do is knead it like bread, because then it gets like a bread consistency. I hope I haven't read half a bread recipe and half a cookie recipe because this looks an awful lot like bread. And to roll these cookies out, you're going to need a lot of flour on your pin, on your surface, on the blooming dough, on your cutter. Now, this isn't bread. If you just tuned in, this isn't bread. This is cookies and it's butter cookies. Right. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. So if it says soften butter, you need to be patient. Place it in the centre of the tin foil. Like I'm about to make a bun shape for bread, like a massive bun. Fold my crease in and we want to put that in the fridge. But because the rest of the batch is there, we need to put that in the fridge as well. Otherwise we're going to have some really sloppy, melty, disgusting cookies. So I've refrigerated this dough in some tin foil if you missed it. Uh, and now I'm just folding in some chocolate chips. And this will make it softer and easier to fold. So what you need to do is pour the chocolate chips on. And I've got some um, milk chocolate chips. Okay, here you just need to place them in the middle, push them down so they fix, and then roll it up like a sausage roll or something like that, whatever you want to call it. And you need to make sure the dough is evenly got chocolate chips in it. Right, so I'm just going to roll this out like so, and then I'm going to fold it again and push it down again until my chocolate chips are all evenly distributed. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my final roll of chocolate chips. Pat it. Daddy, can you preheat the oven please whilst I do this? What temperature? Uh, 180, please. 180. 180. Hasn't been 
been in the fridge for very long, so we need to work nice and fast, nice and quickly to get this finished. So you're going to have to repeat this with the other dough. Okay, a lot of flour, you need the flour for this. Roll it out nicely to the thickness of the chocolate chips. That's why chocolate chips help. Oh, you need a grease tray. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Just need to get in there. Right, so you need to oil um, a tray. I love Pyrex. You might want to sprinkle a bit of flour on it or do what you do. And dust it with flour or do whatever you want to do. So I'm just putting that on a Pyrex tray. The Pyrex tray is off camera, so don't worry if you can't see it, but if you can, that's amazing. I'm not sure how much these cookies will spread, so yeah, I'm really not sure. So we'll have to find out, but adding a nice amount of flour to the table really helps by making it not stick. Okay, and basically what you need to do when you've done your cookies is repeat it with the other dough. I'm going to put these in the oven. 108 degrees for however many minutes it takes. I don't know because I've never baked these before. So, my final product for my cookie is this. It's an amazing, huge cookie. They're brilliant. And they're like this bendy kind of snap, and it's amazing. They taste so good. They take so long to bake, but it's worth it. Yum! Thank you for watching.